the death of everything, but also the beginning. People have filled the world, yet turned it into a void. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. <laughs> Did you work in a zoo? Because that's one huge pile of shit you're pushing around. So, how'd that turn out for you, Dad? It doesn't matter now that you're dead as a doornail, does it? You wanted the world destroyed, huh? Isn't that right, you worthless pest? Fine, I'll do it. This shitty world with its shitty people and shitty lives will disappear, and I'll be the only thing left. After all, if the father's fallen into darkness, then the sun must rise. Just kidding. <laughs> what nonsense. What? These constructs can only remain active within my red fog. Even then, they can only do so for a limited amount of time. If you have time to waste with worthless sentiment, hurry up and complete your preparations. Ha! You've got no sense of humor. Keep up your whining and I'll have to kill you too. <laughs> Such impudence. Take them. They are your pawns. They're pretty well made. Fine, I've got the power I borrowed from you, too. So now there's no way I could lose. Well then, time to make like a tree and... turn over a new leaf, or whatever. <laughs> huh. A puppet version of a puppet. I'll make sure you get the job done this time. Now let's begin, for the sake of his world. I've finished going through Labrys' personality module and control links. I knew we could count on you. I'm sorry that I asked you for such a big favor. Oh no, I couldn't possibly stand by after something so important happened. But, um, is it really alright for me to be doing this? Aren't you all part of some kind of police organization now? There's no need to be concerned. Even now that we've become the Shadow Operatives, this lab belongs solely to the Carijo Group. I finished investigating Labrys' mobility systems. All I have to do now is reboot her OS and perform some final checks. Thank you. How is she? She'd sustained some heavy structural damage, so I was worried, but thankfully none were critical. I see. And what did you recover from her memory? I'm 
I'm sorry. I searched through it, but I found no records that would lead to finding the one behind what happened. If we want to pursue him any further, we'll have to wait for a report from intelligence, but it seems that will still take some time. I see. We have no clues to go on. Eh, don't be so hasty. We might get new leads from intelligence, right? Ever since that attempted airplane hijacking, we've learned that the Public Safety Division has been making some disquieting moves. If we don't make a move soon, there's no telling what they'll do to take advantage of the situation. We have to find a lead before they do anything. understand how you feel, Mitsuru-san, but we must solve one problem at a time. That is why we have gathered here today. You're right. I'm sorry. Please work with me here in reviewing what information we already know. The person behind this case first stole Labrys, the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, while she was in transport. Yes. The hijacking of the airplane you were on was a diversion used to conceal the theft of my sister, after which she was transported to Inaba. Correct. The hijackers were subdued and captured, but we have reason to believe that their minds were under some kind of control. Culprit waited until he arrived in Inaba to turn Labras on and fiddle with her memory. And then he threw her into the TV world, right? Where one's heart and memories manifest themselves. As a machine, Labras was able to control these memories in great detail. In other words, the enemy used her in order to set a trap for us. When we entered the television world in pursuit, we defeated her shadow and made indirect contact with the culprit. That person revealed that his goal was to steal our personas by making us fight each other, which would weaken our hearts and turn our personas to shadows. Once he'd accomplished that, he would combine them all so we could have even more powerful shadows. Shuji Kutsuki. The culprit's speech pattern is consistent with Ikutsuki-san's mannerisms. His inability to use a persona matches him as well. But that's not possible! He... That's right. We've confirmed Ikutsuki's death. Or... Maybe there's someone out there besides Ikutsuki who still thinks the same way he did. If so, then the world we strive for is still far away. <laughs> 